Hey guys, what's up? Henjo555 here with episode 4 of my Let's Play of New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. So let's just get straight into episode 4 here. Now, as you can see, I've got 294 lives, 58,000 coins. Now, just so you guys know, I haven't beaten the game on my own time, but I have been able to get quite a few coins in Coin Rush. So that's kind of been a, a pretty fun mode for me. But uh, if you guys are wondering, you know, I, this Let's Play was intended to be blind, but I just got kind of ahead of myself. So you can see that the first star coin's over there. And I just wanted to keep playing, and um, it was kind of a little bit more difficult to play on camera and stuff. But, you know, I'm happy that, and I know I'm talking quite a bit now, but I'm really happy that I've been able to get this camera thing worked out, and I think the quality is really as good as it possibly can get. So... Just continue to move up here. This is obviously not the hardest castle in the world. It's, it presents a challenge, but it's nothing like the later levels in Mario 3 for the NES, whatever you know, other game you want to quote, maybe Mario World. But this is still a very entertaining castle, and we'll just continue to keep going up. Now, there actually, there is a star coin up there, and that was kind of a fatal flaw right there. So, but we're going to go ahead and pass that one up and head for the boss. Now, obviously, this is the same boss we faced last time um, in the tower. This is two tower. And we'll just go ahead and finish these guys off in five, six seconds. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. Again, another Mario World kind of um, injection to this game where those kind of rhino dudes. Now let's go ahead and move over to the ghost house. This is our very first ghost house we'll play in, and uh, ghost houses are fun. Uh, these ghost houses are actually good, as you're about to see. And quite the shifty behavior we have here. Go ahead and grab this mushroom, duck, and get through that door. You know, once again, I hope you guys are really enjoying this Let's Play so far. I'm going to try and get it done as um, quickly as I can. But at the same time, I want to make sure that the quality is fine. You guys are enjoying this. And um, it's just a ton of fun. This game is better than I expected, for sure. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Mario, uh, or rather, New Super Mario Bros. series. Until, until probably this game came out. I, I'm going to be pretty honest with you guys. I really like the classics better, but this game still presents a lot of fun and a decent challenge. So as you can tell, we're being chased by a giant boo. Unless, of course, uh, I'm getting that really wrong and that isn't a boo, but it definitely looks like it. And it continues to chase us as we look at it, or stay away, rather. We'll just go ahead and keep moving here. And it's funny how, uh, this is going to appear later in the game as well, how these regular looking floors turn into springs. Alright, let's head through that door. Let's straighten the camera out. And then you really want to just bypass all those doors and just go down here. That's really your best option at this point. And then we're not going to worry too much about one-ups because, well, as you might have realized, this game really doesn't present any challenge whatsoever in getting extra lives. If you die, you just come right back, and you get another chance, another crack at the game. Alright, let's head over to 2-4. As you can see, I've got 58,000 plus coins now. Now, if you're wondering where I actually am in the game, I'm in World 5. So, I am a little bit ahead, but... Oh, and as we're actually going to get a gold, this is quite the treat. Just keep moving forward here. And there's our first star coin. Uh, I actually lost it. Dang, that was such a treat, too. If you guys didn't know already, it, with the um, gold fire flower, whatever you touch turns into gold. Or not touch, but more whatever you spew fire at and touches, and the fire touches, rather, um, it turns into gold coins, so that's pretty awesome. It's just kind of another theme uh, of coin grabbing in this game. I'll just continue to 
dash by these guys, and I'll show you guys where a star coin is. This one isn't terribly hard to find, but some of you could still miss it. It's possible. Ground pound our way down and go into that pipe. And then that's actually the end of the level, so that was a pretty quick sequence of events. I'll just jump over that pokey and get 4,000 points. I'm going to stretch out right now. I've been enjoying this game a lot. Don't forget to leave a like. The viewer goal is 100 likes as always. Let's go ahead and move on to 2-5 as we finish off World 2. And World 2 is just very well designed. I, I like how they get right into the power-ups with the gold fire flower. And then we'll grab this gold helmet. There we go. And then actually, if you guys didn't know, you can... That was just a demonstration. <laughs> I probably should have been a bit more careful in keeping the helmet. But if you ground pound on those little pegs, then uh, the chom chomp chomps will um, be set free. So if you're an animal rights activist or something, then maybe, maybe you might care, but I really don't care at all. So just a video game. As we grab our whatever you want to call it, raccoon tail, we'll call it a raccoon tail. I know this isn't a tanuki suit, if you want to be uh, you know, really technical and stuff, just dash by that boomerang, bro. Triple jump, and not get the one up, but get close. Sorry, this, um, rather the system tilted a little bit. I've been trying to keep this as centered as possible. All right, and let's go ahead and head into Two Castle to finish off this episode, finish off World 2. Now up to 58,000 plus coins once again, so, I mean, you know, it's, yeah, the coins are definitely there. Now, 1 million could be a little bit difficult to get, but we'll wait and see what happens with that. First star coin, as you can see, is right above. No need to get it as I've already collected it. Watch out for these as I just got hit. As we continue to progress, we've got thwomps. Just gotta be careful here. There we go. And a lot of you guys probably have noticed that not everyone is great while playing on camera. I think I'm better than most people. But, you know, there's always that kind of camera-shy mentality. But I've done my best. I'll just bypass that little obstacle. This could be a little bit difficult, but we're able to get right by. Whoop. Gotta be careful. As you noticed, only when you're standing on the platform itself will it move. And then the spring will... I think head you over to a star coin, so if you're wondering what that did. But it's a little bit difficult to keep the spring. And then we'll just head over here. And if you guys didn't know, there are a lot of secret blocks in this game, and you can just find stuff all of a sudden, and, you know. Especially at the end of the castle, you'll usually find a hidden power-up that will, you know, help you quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Is this Lenny or Lenny? I, I can't remember. I think it's Lenny. Alright, let's try and finish him off quick. So far, so good. This boss is pretty clever compared to the you know usual Mario boss. But still, it takes three hits to defeat this guy and we'll be right on our way to World 3. And there we go. So three hits, and we are all set and complete. And we'll go ahead and grab the gold key. Don't forget to leave a like once again. I'll catch you guys next time for World 3. Um, if you haven't already, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys for World 3.